Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. This unit or this calculation was not included in the previous SL syllabus. Uh, the IB has decided to introduce this in the applications and interpretation SL course. And therefore, I decided to create a video to help students understand how to do the calculations, the process, and also how to use the calculator to get this uh, value for the coefficient. So let's get started. As you can see in this question, the population of black bears on a particular island has been recorded every five years since 1978. And you can see the population there. The frequency is every five years and the population is in the row below. There are two variables in this question. The first variable is the time t and the second variable is the population p. In order to calculate this correlation coefficient, the first step would be to split this table so that we can rank both these variables. That's what, what I have done and I've colored it in yellow also to make it clear. So I took the years and I ranked them in ascending order. So I ranked them from 0 to 9. It was straightforward because the years are increasing and therefore the numbers are 1 to 9. However, in the population variable, the data is not in ascending order and therefore I had to rank them based on how the values are increasing. Once this is done, the next step was to use the calculator and input the data and the calculator will do the job for you. The first step is to go to the menu and select stats. You will be given two columns there, list one and list two, where I will be typing the rank of T in the first column and the rank of P in the second column. So I'm going to demonstrate how this is done. So I'm typing rank T in the first column, that's list one. So my values are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then I go to list two and I'm going to type the rank for the population column. One, two, three, four, five, eight, seven, six, and nine. Once you do this, you can click on this REG for regression and then click on X and there you go. That's the answer. It's quite simple. So the correlation coefficient is 0 0.933. That's the correlation coefficient. If you like the video, just uh, subscribe and click on the like button below. I'll be uploading more videos as students make more requests so that you can understand different concepts in mathematics. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.